What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. It is the NFC Championship game. The Los Angeles Rams and the Washington Redskins. Coming at you from Anaheim Stadium in Los Angeles, California. The Rams did uh, defeat the Redskins in week 14, 31 to 28. So even though they have the same record of 11 to 5, the Rams having the head-to-head -head victory, uh, that gives them the tiebreaker. So coming at you from Los Angeles today. Damone Johnson, all right. He's that guy that had those good returns. Like four, he had four returns for two of them two went for touchdowns and kickoffs. Miami won their game against the Chiefs 28-24. See what the Rams can do. This is, this is all. This is kind of a tricky matchup. Mike Lansford gets us underway. Skins defense, they they they, they appear to be very active. Oh. Nope. They didn't have 
have a leg there. Kevin Green got roller barreled. And there goes Ernest Biner. Wow. Redskins strike first. Nice run, man. Oh, Pete Holahan! Nice catch, man, over the middle. That was sweet. Love it. Jim ever stood stood tall in the pocket and delivered a strike. That was a, that was awesome. I loved it. Kurt, uh, Kurt Warner, we got him in there, huh? 25. I didn't think. 25, 44. Huh, okay. I guess he was in there by mistake. We should have had, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Fa yeah, Fajian. We needed Fajian in there. Alright. But thanks, for, thanks anyway, Kurt, Kurt Warner, for that uh, catch and run. But we're going to put Fage in there now because he's just better. Oh, yeah, Eller, take him out. We don't want him. Yeah, maybe we'll put you on the punt. We'll, we'll, we'll put you on the punt returns. How about that? So uh, we get some action. All right. Fade down. Put, 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 put. Yes. Ever by Jimmy Eller. I, I had pressure. He ever had pressure. He had to move. He had to. He had to dance out of the pocket a little bit. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes you just can't stand it. Sometimes you got to move around. Even Dan Marino was good about that. It's like Dan Marino wasn't a scrambler, but he could, you know, shift and move, shift around and move around in the in, within the pocket or. To buy, you know, to, to avoid the rush. But yeah, good job, guys. Tie this game up right before the half. Hopefully, we don't allow any more points before half. Only, only 32 seconds. Complete to Ernest Biner. Three seconds left. Oh no! Ricky Sanders! You see? Oh man! He's got the speed up. I think he might be their fastest receiver. He he's got I think he's faster than Art Monk and, and Gary Clark. Wow. That was 
We're gonna go to the seven seven halftime time and here now. And now we're behind the eight ball again. Ah. Talk about yards after the catch, right? Come on, Gaston Green. Sometimes that play is good, and other times it that happens. Everett's throwing deep for Anderson. No, it's intercepted by Martin Mayhew, but he fumbles the ball. Ha ha! Willie's got it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Woo! Nice play, man. <laughs> Willie Anderson saved the effort. He, he. Well, whoever made the hit, I think Pete Holohan came over and made the hit and caused the fumble. <laughs> Either way, that was exciting, and we got a tie game. Oh, Brian Mitchell on the return. Kicker Mike Lynchford has to tackle him. Rippin's going to Sanders again. He's like, oh, I like that play. Let's do it again. Yeah, <laughs> Art Monk. Rippin's got receivers, but he's got, you know, the posse, right? Three good receivers. <sighs> Come on, defense. Rams defense needs to step up here. Oh, great. Redskins are playing tough. Gaston Green, baby, on the kick return. We're in the Redskins territory. There's a decent run by Cleveland Gary. It's a jumping catch, and we got a verge of a tie game once again. One second to go in the third quarter. That's the final gun for the third quarter. We got one quarter to make it happen. To realize our championship dreams. the sack. Nice play. Ooh. Lost at nine yards. That was, a, that was a big play. Huge play. Now they go <laughs> Bryant up the middle for a one yard to third and 18. Rip and play action, but it's incomplete. All right. They got a punt. Nice.
nice, nice job on that sack, Kevin Green, first play. Kurt Warner, he tried to make something happen for us. on bad. <laughs> he, he, ain't, he ain't that fast. Oh, I had a sick. He's only six. Oh, I had a six one. Willie Anderson again. No, he footballs, man. Daryl Green's got it. Yeah. Good job on the defense there, can corralling uh, Biner. <sighs> yes, Kevin Green stops Biner for forcing the field goal. All right. Ah, he's trying to let's block it. He missed it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Minute fifty-three seconds to go. Tie game. NFC Championship game. Oh, can't get better than that. We're up to twenty. We got eighty yards, but a field goal will win the game, so we don't need a touchdown. Let's do it. to go in the game. <laughs> Brian Mitchell. He's got the kicker to beat. They get him at the 18. Whoa! <laughs> what an exciting game. Yeah, Willie Anderson had that one pass because they didn't count that pass he had earlier in the game when he fumbles the ball. That was a 76-yard pass. But it didn't go for the touchdown. They caught up to it. But all right, the Rams defeat the Redskins in dramatic fashion. And they are moving on to face the Miami Dolphins in the Super Bowl. I don't think you could have asked for a better championship game than that one. I, I think that one topped the uh, the AFC side, you know, Miami and Kansas City. As far as, like, dramatics and this, ooh, you know, this, 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 this had a different feel to it, you know, different had a different feel. It was, uh, well, like I said, the Redskins, they, the defense, they were playing, they were playing tough, you know, but, but yeah, both games are good, you know, tw 21 to 28, and then this one was 28 to 24, so still both competitive games, right? So that's what I like. I like the I like close games and playing my style. 
you you you'll still you still can have a blowout, but but playing my style at least at least at least leaves the window open and gives the the opponent a legit chance. Because I'm just gonna say it right now, and this may offend people out there. When you do the nose tackle attack, the Jerry Ball attack, and you do the nose tackle trick where you can just, you know, blow up the play, and it's kind of lame. It is. It's, it's, it's lame and it's cheating, you know. It's like you're, I get, you know, if you give them crappy plays and you, you, or you just do that all the time. I don't see how you could get any satisfaction in the victory because it's like, yeah, you cheat. You're cheating, so okay. You, you then you're gonna win. So you, you know what I mean. So my look at it is, don't do that crap. Okay, give the opponent good plays. Give them the best players. Right, John. Look, if you. Johnny Lawrence said it in Cobra Kai the best. He when he talked about he said there's two cobras in a jungle. One kills a sick monkey and the other kills a strong healthy lion. Which cobra do you want to be? And Aisha said the cobra that killed the lion. He's like, "Why is that?" Cuz cuz you you took on the opponent when they were at their strongest, not not the sick, not the sick little weak, not the weak sick little monkey, right? That's not a, that's not a, that's not impressive. Beating the sick monkey, sick weak monkey, but it is impressive when you beat that strong lion. So, in other words, in Tecmo Super Bowl terms, it's like yeah. Give the opponent good plays. Give them the best players at the time. You know, condition excellent. You know. And, physical condition wise and uh, you play this style where you pick run on first and second down and control a defensive back to cover yeah they're going to make plays on you but it's almost like the way I look at it it's, it's like yeah you're saying to your opponent go ahead give me your best shot so I just walk away it's a more satisfying victory when you take the other team, when you take their best shot, and you're able to withstand it, I mean it. They land it, right? They they land it, right? They land the best shot, and uh, you know it, it, it hits you, it stuns you, it faces you, but you withstand it and you overcome it, and you come out the victor, anyways, right? I get more satisfaction in that kind of a win, other than. Uh, do the do the nose tackle dive and okay let's us let's just cheat and cheat because we can't. You're just showing you don't have it. You don't got what it takes to win legit, win for real, right? You have to, you have to cheat to win, and there's I take no satisfaction in that. So that's my uh, feelings and why I play the way I do. So there we go. Enough about the life lesson. <laughs> Super Bowl is set. Miami Dolphins, Los Angeles Rams. Should be a good one, right? I'm looking forward to it. But for this video, we're going to close the broadcast with the picture of the on the Rams homepage just to see whatever it did for the season. Oh, he, had a, did, he did have a good season. 66%, 3,852 yards, 44 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Ah, he lit it up. And even five rushing attempts, 25 yards, and a touchdown. So he got a rushing touchdown throughout the, in the during the year. He got it, and that but not but that wasn't as big as that one in the championship game. Out that ended up being the winning touchdown, right? So there you go. Leave me your thoughts on this game, Washington Redskins and Rams NFC Championship. I, it, it was a, it was that was it was fun, exciting game. I enjoyed. I loved it. It was. But it was like, at times it was like nerve-wracking too, but that's part of it, right? That's part of the reward you get. You know, that times of uncertainty, it's like, oh crap, they're up, they they took the lead. Now we just got sacked. Uh, it's like, 
and there's that level of uncertainty, but then once you make plays, it's like, hmm, yeah. It, it, you can probably say uh, there's a, it's a nice shot of dopamine, right, or something. <laughs> but, hey, good win for the Rams. Good for them. So, anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe, then the bell, ding, ding, so you're notified when I upload a video. So until next time, guys, keep it retro. So this Sunday, December 4th, is the Super Bowl. Miami Dolphins versus the Los Angeles Rams, live from Pasadena, California. Kickoff is at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. See you there.